Kansas City was known as a very, very rough baseball town. There was calls that uh, they didn't like. Uh, sometimes violence would erupt. Um, and it wasn't unusual for umpires to be chased off the field. So at League Park, they put up a sign in the grandstand that said, please don't shoot the umpire. He's doing the best he can. It's probably true that baseball was the first sport that people in Kansas City really fell in love with. Really, it wasn't until the Civil War that baseball in Kansas City became popular. Around the 1860s, mid-1860s, Kansas City had its first amateur team, a team called the Antelopes. So our first professional team was 1884, and that was a team called the Kansas City Unions. They would have the sandlot, they'd have the bases, they would rope off an area for the spectators and play ball. But it's baseball. How old's baseball? <laughs> you know, we need a new scorecard. This will be our 20th year to do Sandlot baseball. 98 was our first summer. Okay, we got some bats here. It's a once a week beautiful use of this space. And I think after 20 years, it's become pretty integral to everybody's routine. They just kind of know that this noise in the background, and that's baseball. Knowing Sam, I knew that this was going to become something that would be something we would do. Hopefully, it'll be about 10 against 10 or something like that. You never know. And we all loved it. So it was like it, it very quickly, like the next season came up, and this is what we do. Well, now we wait for the onslaught of, of players, kids, and parents. Our first park was called Exercise Yard, and that was, again, nothing more than a big sand lot. We also had a park in uh, 1914 and 1915 called Gordon and Copple Field. That was uh, at 45th and Tracy. Association Park was at 19th and Olive. That was the first field the Monarchs played on. So the field in the sandlot is um, not a true diamond at all. It's uh, the space, you know, lemons, lemonade. So it's the space that we have probably closer to a 75 degree or 70 degree kind of a pie-shaped wedge. And ground rules are according to all of that. Trees hanging over, you know, you, know, you can't, you have to deal with what you got. Kansas City was positioned to bring baseball to the whole Midwest. You take that sandlot ball away from Kansas City and you don't have much. Parade Park uh, back in the era of uh, segregation, uh, you know, the park in your community was the most important park because you couldn't go all over town and play in other people's parks. It was highly competitive baseball, even at the amateur level, but you also have to remember that baseball meant so much to the African-American community during that time. So you relied on your businesses in the community to help you out. So back when I was playing, your, your grocery stores were baseball sponsors like Milgram's and uh, Safeway. My dad played Milgram's, played for the Milgram's uh, Van Johnson team his senior year of high school. So this would have been the spring of 57. And was at the top of the rotation as a pitcher. Had a lot of promise, had a lot of ambition. Hoped that, uh, you know, the majors were not far away. But it wasn't to be. He threw his arm out, hurt his arm, and the rest is history. I think everybody played baseball. No matter what you excelled in athletically, you ultimately end up playing baseball. And so baseball was drawing some of the greatest athletes to ever play this game. Many of them emerged from the sandlots and they, they had a passion for this game. The community had a passion for the game and you could see it. And Parade Park is just one of those glaring examples of that true love for baseball. It gave ball players an opportunity to come in Kansas City. It was like it was like the park to be. They had the swimming pool that was down there, and then they had the baseball park, and uh, it, it, it was it was it was a happening place. All the way like to Frank White, you know, he played in that park. When I was uh, old enough to really decided I wanted to play baseball. Then, you know, we played all the games at Prairie Park. You know, that's the site where they're building the Urban Youth Academy now. And that was a great, great place to uh, 
to play baseball on Friday night. In looking at baseball uh, now versus then, uh, there were much more community. Everyone loved baseball. Everyone loved baseball, especially the inner city kids. You know, the sand lot of yore was usually with kids who grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same school, rode their bikes around the neighborhood. Those days may be gone. 